welcome to analytics with nax in this video we are going to see about a forecasting option available in power bi assume like you are doing your business for past 2 to 3 years and you want to predict your sales or it can be any other uh, defects maybe you are tracking your defects and next week or next month how many defects i'm going to get in case of sales uh, you are earning like um, uh, $10000 per day and in next few weeks or next week uh, how much will be my sales so when some tool is giving that option how good it will be and power bi has uh, the default option available in one of its uh, beautiful chart called line chart let us try to explore in this video if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in power bi now we are in power bi you see here um, the this is the total sales for uh, naga garments business that we are exploring in this power bi exercise and this is for 2020 sales and uh, to begin with like this is a line chart and you have a trend of uh, sales over the, across over year so the forecast is going to be the future week or future 10 days like i am in uh, december 9 2020 so what will be by next uh, 10 days sales so when i know that based on that i can plan anything right uh, to improve the business or it can be uh, i can take a vacation if it is going to be a huge sales it's going to be predict based on the previous histories maybe it's a december week i should not go because people will shop so it can it can be any decision people can make when they forecast some results so where it is available so the thing is like you need to choose a line chart and draw it and there is something like analytics that is what name says analytics right that is what the power bi is meant for so click on the chart and go to analytics you see option called forecast right it is hidden most of the people are not aware that's what the purpose of this video so expand this forecast just click on add you are done so there you go so it has predicted the value for um uh, next uh, <coughs> forecast one like upper band and uh, lower band this is for different dates see forecast of uh, 15 points let us see and hit enter okay now that is fine and confidence level see this confidence level gives you uh, how much confident i can believe i mean uh, how much i can believe this uh, uh, forecast right so uh, just if you give a more confidence like 99 percentage uh, you see like uh, the data difference so basically what it says so lower band is like uh, you can get around uh, 2600 as the minimum amount next uh, 10 days and it can be um, 4600 is the predicted value actually that is average the upper bound can be 6600 right that is what this forecast is saying about so uh, <clears throat> this is what guys so basically power bi has built in future and you are saying a 15 points so 15 next 15 days i think uh, that is a uh, uh, thing that it is forecasting so uh, what else i want to highlight is like this forecast option is uh, not available for other charts say for example for this chart if you click on it there is analytic future but there is no forecast even uh, when i change it to some other charts like uh, area chart you do not find a forecast option so this is available only in the line chart and along with the trend even if i choose uh, some only for quarter uh this won't be uh, available i mean to say when you choose a quarter and try to create a, a forecast this won't be uh, able to possible it requires more data to analyze to configure right so these are the key things you need to understand about so if you like this video hit the subscribe button right now and comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset